What is up, peeps? This is following TCG, and I'll welcome you back to another YouTube video. And of course, we have some more Pokemon TCG online gameplay. But first, I have heard your cries. I know Lost Thunder is released, and I do want to get some unique deck lists using the new cards from Lost Thunder. You guys have made some suggestions yourself, and I do have some in my brain ready to go. But unfortunately, I have, as you can see on the screen, 5,000 coins. That is, I believe, 25, 27 packs um, ready to go, but they are just not up on the market as of recording this video. I've tried waiting all day for it to come onto the market so I can get some packs, open them up, and start making these lists. Um, but unfortunately, we've just not seen anything on the side of the, of the game itself, releasing the purchasable packs in the game um, and I've actually gone and tried to um, purchase some online as well purchase some actual codes but then I haven't had a card payment issue so unfortunately I can't get any codes as of right now so right now I unfortunately can't be using a, a lost funder deck or a lost funder variant deck hence why I'm uploading this deck today I would have definitely uploaded a lost funded version or some something that includes lost funder in a deck list today if I was able to get things going but unfortunately Things just aren't meant to be today, so today we don't have any Lost Thunder in particular. However, I do, uh, I did, I did, sorry, manage to trade for some Lost Thunder packs. We have two here, so we're going to open them up um, just so we can have a bit of the juice <laughs> before we do get going. And actually, making some Lost Thunder decks here, um, and then we'll get into the actual deck that we're looking to grab here. So grabbing a Trumbic is great. That's for Lost March, so that's pretty cool. Let's see if we pull a sneaky GX or anything down that line. That would be pretty damn dope. We got the Lava Tub, but not the one we wanted. Now, this card I'm keeping an eye on. Someone did comment uh, mentioning that this would go great with the Pumpkin Bomb deck. And that's a very good shout. Uh, right, so we got a Pyro. And what did we get? Oh, Naganadal. That is dope. This is a really good card. Uh, it's kind of like Malamar, but it charges to itself. Uh, really good in a Blacephalon GX. So that, that's a pretty decent pause so far. But let's actually get into the, uh, the meat of this video we are playing malamar drampa which is a very unique ver variant to malamar where um i think drampa itself is in a good spot right now fighting has taken a bit of a dip um as i say that we match up against the fighting deck if you tend to realize is as i state something the opposite happens <laughs> um right yeah so fighting has taken a bit of a dip um in regards to uh top tier decks particularly so of course you do see your um your uh, what's it called your Zorak Lycanrocks, you see Buzzwar here and there. But it's definitely not the way it used to be uh, pre-rotation, right? Where Buzzwar was just dominating the format. And cards like Drampa just never saw play because it's too risky to play. But now there's a bit more breathing room. Um, and also, with that said, fighting Pokemon usually particularly weak to Psychic. Um, unless you think Lycanroc. And this is a Malamar list. We do play a copy of Deoxys. So we can actually counter the fighting decks that we do come up against. So again, this deck has a lot of breathing room, which is good. And this is a great start here. Um, starting off with a DCE. Hopefully we're not playing a Zorak Lycanroc because they play Enhanced Hammer. Uh, but nonetheless, we're going to go for the Cynthia. So the idea is, of course, to uh, attach the Rainbow Energy to uh, a bench Pokemon or deal some damage to our bench Pokemon to allow Berserk to do 150. Obviously 180 with the Choice Band. Um, and the reason why we have Malamite is to cover the energy cost of free energy. Um, and it tends to run pretty smoothly, um, considering that if, say, for example, you have something on the bench, you have a Drampa on the bench, you can attach the Rainbow Energy to another Pokemon and then uh, accelerate to Drampa and then use Drampa's attack. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so we're playing Persimian, which is indeed weak to Psychic. So the first thing we need to do is find that Deoxys. That is a crucial part right now of the deck that we are playing considering we're up against a Persimian. So what we need to do here, we have no way of discarding these energies right now, which is quite unfortunate. But what I'm gonna do is just, Cynthia feels bad on its own, but I kind of want to do that because I want to just get the Deoxys attached to it this turn, ideally. Um, so hopefully we actually find a way to get it. So this is actually ideal. Um, we're gonna drop the Titanol because we place the Valley for the free retreat um, and so Valley also, great GX attack allows us to accelerate energy anyway, so why not? All right, so what we're going to do is big wheel GX. Now, this is super risky because we can just get one shot by them next turn, which is kind of scary. So mm, let's think about this. Do we big wheel or not? Uh, I think we don't. But I don't want to leave this in the active anyway because they're just going to retreat next turn. Uh, this is tough. 
do we take the hit and go for the big wheel or do we retreat to let's say the type null and give them the type null or retreat the, to the in k and give them the in k oh right oh this is risky this is super risky um we're gonna big wheel we're gonna do it this is a i can already see this being a misplay but we're gonna big wheel I just hope. Uh, one one cool little um, tactic in this deck is to go for the turn one judge and then big wheel GX, leaving them with four and you with ten on the on the first turn. It is actually a quite fun way of going about playing this deck. And I've done it a few times playing this deck, and it's just really cool. You just slow your opponent down completely, and you just have like 10 cards in your hand. Um, it's pretty fun doing the big wheel GX and then judging, the, so judging and then big wheeling. Um, it's pretty unique. But it doesn't always happen. It didn't happen that turn, I'm afraid. Um, did I actually... I need to think. I don't know if I had Judge at the start of my hand there. If I did, then I clearly made a big misplay. Nonetheless, they seem to have few cards in their hands. So the fact that they've attached the energy this turn to retreat means that they can't attack. So we are safe. <laughs> Thank God. And we actually have a Deoxys next turn ready to go. Um, now, the Field Blower seems good here. Yep, definitely seems good dropping off that Shrine. Uh... I'm f well, well, let's, 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 let's big brain here, all right? If we keep Shine and play for one more turn and get Sil Valley into play, then that would activate our Drampa, right? And we want that. So let's, let's big brain, let's big brain. <laughs> We're going to take a very risky play yet again, and it might pay off. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Uh, it does pay off and we don't kind of get a bit too greedy. Now we could i don't like manually retreating here with the dce but at the same time energy cost is never really a problem with the likes of malamar so what we will do is yeah we'll go for the retreat no we won't whoa, 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 whoa. hold up hold up sean I'm, I'm too used to using malamar as the last thing um we got to accelerate to this deoxys before we retreat obviously otherwise we would have just made a big misplay there one thing i realized is that sometimes i need to take a step back and really look at what's going on in my board position, on their board position, rather than coming up with the play before my turn even starts. Uh, now, the judge seems bad. Um, the field blower we want to keep in hand. Acrobike, do we need acrobike? I don't think we need to play the acrobike now, but we could acrobike for a draw support and get some better stuff, right? That seems smart. We're actually going to attach the energy to the Drampa. So we can attack with it next turn if we hit a DCE. That seems good. So when we retreat, we'll be fine there. We don't want to draw support, though, because we want a field blower next turn. Let's go for the acrobat and see what we hit. So we hit a Guzma, and that's okay. We don't need to have that rainbow energy now, considering we're allowing the shrine to hit our Sil Valley. Um, I'm an idiot. I've just realized I have free retreat because of Sil Valley. So I'm happy, actually, um, attaching to that jamper because it's ready to go, regardless. And the judge seems, again, pretty bad. We can actually go for a Guzma play, but that's we actually want to hit this one. We don't want to hit the Evolution ones on the bench because they struggle to deal any big damage. So I think we're good. So I think we're just going to retreat now for free, which is beautiful, and just go for Power Blast. And the Oxus is the one that we need to really focus on here. I don't know if I put any Rescue Stretches in this deck. I did kind of just throw the list together. Um, thinking, hey, this is a pretty neat idea. So if there's no rescue stretches, I'll definitely throw one in here because um, requiring uh, only having one Deoxys means that as soon as it's knocked out, we do struggle against this deck. Although, to be fair, we could attack with Malamar. I mean, it does get the one shot, right? So that's, although that's real, real dodgy, <laughs> we can still do that. So that's kind of cool. Right, so they need on their end to get that Persimion out. Now, I believe... They play, the Persimian deck plays the one Persimian and then the three of these. And then they just play like a ton of Gladion and Rescue Stretches to ensure that they have that one out. Right, so leaving me there is a bit rough. They're hitting me for 80 damage if I'm correct. Um, now, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Hold, hold up. <laughs> huh? Hello? Oh, they do 30 more damage to Evolution Pokemon. That was so close. If they did 10 more damage, then that shrine that we left in the in the open would have actually punished us big time. Whoa, <laughs> that was kind of scary. So I 
<laughs> I don't want to retreat. We have to Guzma this turn. Um, we, can't, we have to Guzma. Let's, let's, oh, hit my cup of coffee. Careful. Let's go for the field blower now so we can just ensure that this is not knocked out. Tough thing is, is I assume they play one more, sh more than one shrine. So this Sil Valley is, uh, is, is in such a sketchy place right now. All right, let's just go for the acceler acceleration here. I would like to retreat and attack. Uh, but judging for the hopes of hitting a DCE is just super dodgy. So we're just going to go for the Guzma and knock this one out. Oh, it stacks. The ability stacks, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. The more you know, the more you know. Now, dropping a Rainbow Energy onto the Oranguru seems smart because if this Sil Valley goes down, we still need something damaged on the bench so our Jampo can hit the 150. Um, so that seems pretty decent. Now, a very risky play of uh, way sorry, of playing Drampa is actually playing Shrine yourself and then trying to Field Blower it away once you've done damage to your own bench. It is a concept you could play with, I guess. Uh, a, bit, a bit inconsistent when compared to the Rainbow Energy play. The Rainbow Energy just seems better, especially when you have Malamar, so you don't need to worry about wasting your attachment for the turn. So I feel like this play is better than going for the likes of a Shrine in your own list. Um, but yeah, drop the uh, the Rainbow onto the Oranguru in case they play their Shrine again and we get ourselves Valley knocked out. But um, yeah, so this deck is actually handling uh, Fighting Weakness pretty well already. But bear in mind, their board state is super weak. All right, so they're going to go in greedy for that Sil Valley, and that is fine with me. Um, I actually don't mind... Well, I was going to say I don't mind promoting the Dramper and retreating it, but I kind of do. So they have effectively one energy. Uh, we need to draw an energy. Um, yeah, because I want to knock this out this turn, and if I promote the Dramper, then I have to forcibly retreat. Do you know what? We're going to... Okay, let's play safe. We're going to bring the Dramper out now. I don't want to retreat with the DCE, but at the same time, their board state is really weak. So we can actually just attack with Dramper this turn if we do feel so inclined. Um, and not have to worry about any sort of crazy response on their end, even if they drop a Persimian. They have to have a mad turn for them to get a knockout, although it's possible. So we need to be aware of that as well. Now, dropping another Type Null seems good, just so we can get another Silvalli going. Now, let's see what's going on here. Uh, right, so that really doesn't help. When it comes to it, we're going to Mysterious Treasure, the Mysterious Treasure away just to thin here. Um, another Malamar's kind of pointless. So we do have two more DCE in deck. We have two escape ropes. Um, we don't really want to escape rope. Uh, let's attach the Choice Band to the Deoxys because its retreat cost is only one, so it's not that big a deal. And what do we hit off this? Uh, yeah, nothing too valuable and in fact i believe we just helped them get a bigger hand size but nonetheless we just have to hmm hmm okay we're actually going to retreat this is why i do not want that jumper being knocked out also deoxys will discard an energy with power blast meaning that we can malamar attach next turn if we do really want to attack with the dramper so oh well do you know what that is an excellent thing to get from the prizes Absolutely wonderful. Um, crushing Hammer, big oof there. However, if they go from the active, then we should be fine. Oh, they, they've whiffed it anyway. Oh, second one. I did not know Persimian played Crushing Hammers. Maybe this is just their variant, or I just don't know enough about the deck. Uh, I haven't played Persimian too much, really. Now, was that a misplay? Depends what they've got in their hand. If that's a draw supporter, then that wouldn't be a misplay. But, oh wait, no, no. I, I get where they're coming from because I would have won the game otherwise. Yeah, makes perfect sense. So I kind of want to... Uh, let's see what we pull from the Acrobite before we decide what we want. Um, get the Cynthia. We don't need the Rainbow anymore. Now, I, can't, I really want to hit into this Persimian, to be honest with you. But they're, they're in such a bad place right now, it really doesn't matter. So we're going to just... Go for this. Um, and as awkward as it seems, I think attaching the DCE to the Deoxys seems just like the consistent play. Um, because I don't know how many... I, I really don't know how many Psychic Energy we've got in deck and we want to just be aggressive. So this is a very awkward play. Um, and now we'll Cynthia. If we hit the Psychic Energy, then we definitely made the misplay. But we did. We hit two of them, in fact. <laughs> 
of course. But nonetheless, uh, we can still use Power Blast. That's perfectly fine. And we can just get rid of that Diancy. I didn't want to not attach the DCE and whiff on a Psychic Energy. Um, and then leave that in the active. Because that just gives them uh, more options, which we don't want to give them. Right, so this is, yeah, this is why I would never play Persimian. It just seems really rough um, playing around it. Considering pretty much every turn you want to have Persimian out, right? And you want to have all Persimians out. And that's just really tough in itself to achieve. Although Persimian has been successful in some tournaments reaching the top 32. I don't know in which one. Um, but also you need to consider the fact that special energy um, is just... Uh, it's a bit tough to play considering that there's no real recovery for them anymore. Uh, we're just going to go in and attach and power block. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, see, this is where I need to just use the noggin. Use the noggin. Play your cards first, sure. <laughs> uh, okay, let's accelerate with Malamar to the... We could actually accelerate to the Silvalli. Just so we have more options for attackers if we ever do get in that bad state. Um, I think we're definitely... We're going to field blower the Brooklet Hill. Yeah, definitely field blower that away. Escape rope. We want to knock out the one in the active, so that's fine. And we could, what well, we could, well, I was going to say we could escape rope and Guzma, but that doesn't really do anything for us. Cynthia, but I kind of like my hand. Because if they buff up their hand, we can judge them. If they stick us in the active, we can Guzma. Yeah, I like my hand. My hand's got pretty much everything I need uh, to win the game next turn. So let's just stick to it. Do not discard the DCE. <laughs> Even though it wouldn't make much of a difference. It wouldn't make any difference. But nonetheless. Um, one more prize card to take. Uh, also, in the video yesterday, um, I'm, I thought it was a bug, but I actually decked out. So if you actually check the game and just go to the end, um, I lost the game when they took their first prize card. And I was like, huh? What? And then I thought the game was bugged because there's a lot of bugs recently. Uh, no, turns out I decked out and I just didn't know. <laughs> Hence why I need to take a step back when I play these games. Because... Not realizing you're decking out is just crazy. <laughs> um, it's something that you shouldn't do as a player ever. So that's what I did, unfortunately. Right, yeah, so this is why I wanted to keep my hand. Because right now this Deoxys is just in a bad place. And all we need to do is just Guzma and Jampa for games. So, yeah, kind of happy we kept the hand there. Oh, they, they've quit for us anyway. <laughs> either or, either or. Right, so that is the video. Let me show you the list um, go and try it out for yourself. Um, now, unfortunately, with it being normal type, you're not actually hitting anything for weakness. So you do have to understand that you're primarily going to be two-shotting in this deck and potentially one-shotting. You could play a Kukui to allow your Drampa to hit the 200 damage rather than the 180, which can let you hit out multiple GX Pokemon, like the Evolutions and stuff like that. So you have to consider that as well, maybe. Um, but let's get this list out so I can just show you. So Malamar Drampa, here it is. Is. Um, right, yes, yeah, so we play six psychic, four rainbow, four DCE. Of course, I've already mentioned the rainbow strategy to do the damage on the bench rather than playing a shrine, but you could go for the shrine. You could drop the Malamar down to a 2 2, but I feel like having a uh, three allows you to consistently have two Malamar out in play. Most games, if not all games, to allow you to deal with these free energy accelerations or these free energy attachments on both Savali and Drampa. Um, but yeah, give this give this deck a try. Is there, is there anything else you would play? Is there anything from Lost Fun that you would add into this list? Let me know. That'd be kind of interesting to see. Um, but other than that, do leave a like if you did enjoy it. And I promise you I'll get some Lost Funder for you soon. But other than that, subscribe. And I'll leave you to it. Peace.